Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to install Just Cause 4 Reloaded Game on Xbox app on your Windows 10 or 11 computer. Now the first step is to log in with same account on Microsoft Store and with same account on Xbox app. So open Microsoft Store. On the top right, you will see your profile icon. So click on the profile icon, then click on sign out. Again, click on sign in. Now select the right account over here then click on continue now it will be asking for the pin or password so enter the pin or password over here now once logged in now open xbox app on the top right here you can see your profile icon click on it and then click on sign out again click on the profile icon and then click on sign in Now select the same account which you have selected on Microsoft Store. So log in with same account on Microsoft Store and same account on Xbox app. Then click on Let's Play and then try to install the game. Also make sure date, time, time zone and region is correct on your computer. So on the bottom right here you can see the date and time. So make a right click on date and time and then click on adjust date and time. Now make sure set time automatically is on over here. In Windows 10, you will find set time zone automatically. Make sure that is also on. In Windows 11, select the right time zone from here and then click on sync now. Now make sure that you click on sync now and once done, try to install the game. Also make sure that right region is selected over here. So go to region and then make sure the right country is selected over here. Now the next step is to try installing the game from Microsoft Store library. So open Microsoft Store on your computer. On the bottom left here, you can see the library option. So click on library and find just cause for reloaded game in the list. So if you find the game over here in front of it, you will see the install option. So try to install the game from library. Also click on get updates over here. So make sure that everything is up to date. So click on get updates and once all the updates are installed, open Xbox app and then try to install the game. Now the next step is to run this power seal command. So copy this command. This command is provided in the video description. Type in PowerShell in Windows search box and then make a right click on Windows PowerShell and then click on run as administrator. Make sure that you're opening PowerShell as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now paste the command over here. Hit the enter key. Now this process will take some time and during this process you will receive some errors in red color. So if you see any errors in red color, just ignore it and let the process complete. Now once done, close this window. Now open Xbox app and then try to install the game. Now the next step is to run WS reset command. So type in WS reset in Windows search box and then click on WS reset. And this will open this black screen. Do not close this black screen. This black screen will go away and it will open Microsoft. Now over here, you can see the black screen is gone and it's opening Microsoft store. Now you can go ahead and try to install the game from Xbox app. Now the next step is to repair and reset Xbox app and Microsoft Store. So type in Xbox app in Windows search box and then make a right click on Xbox app then click on app settings. Now this will open Windows 11 settings and it will straight away go to the Xbox option and scroll down here you can see the repair option so click on repair and once the repair is done open Xbox app and then try to install the game. Still you are facing the problem. In that case, perform reset. So click on reset, reset. And once the reset is done, open Xbox app and then try to install the game. Now, the next step is to do the same thing with Microsoft Store. So type in store in Windows search box and then make a right click on Microsoft Store and then click on app settings once again. This will again open Windows 11 settings or Windows 10 settings and it will take you to the same options. So click on repair and after the repair, install the game. Still you are facing the problem, then perform reset. So click on reset and then again click on reset and after the reset, open Xbox app and then try to install the game. Now the next step is to install Xbox identity provider and gaming services. So copy this command. This command is provided in the video description. Open this. Copy this link actually, open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Here you can see Xbox identity provider. Click on get 
it will prompt you to open Microsoft Store. So click on Open Microsoft Store. And over here, you will find Xbox Identity Provider. Now, if Xbox Identity Provider is not installed, you will see the Get option or Install option or Update option. Now, in my case, it's already installed. So there is no button. In your case, you will find Install or Get option. So install it. And then uninstall and reinstall gaming services. So for this, copy this command. This command is provided in the video description. Now type in PowerShell in Windows search box. Make a right click on Windows PowerShell, then click on Run as Administrator. Click on Yes to allow, and then paste the command over here. Hit the Enter key. This will uninstall gaming services. And once done, run the second command. Copy this command this time, and this will reinstall gaming services. So paste it on PowerShell window, hit the enter key. This will again open Microsoft Store and you will see the install option to install gaming services. Click on install. Click on yes to allow and then let the download complete. Now once download is complete, now you can open Xbox app and then try to install the game. Now the next step is to start all these services. So type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Now go to IP helper, find IP helper in the list, make a double click on IP helper, set it to automatic, then click on apply, click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. Now find Xbox services. So at the end here, you can see all the Xbox services, make a double click on all the Xbox services one by one, set it to automatic, then click on apply, click on start if highlighted. So do the same thing with all the Xbox services, set it to automatic, apply, click on start if highlighted. Again, make a right click select automatic from the list and then click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok now again set it to automatic apply click on start ok now find windows update make a double click on windows update set it to automatic apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok now find gaming services in the list now over here you can see gaming services make sure gaming services are running over here if it's not running, make a right click, then click on start. If it's already running, then stop it and then restart the service. So make a right click, then click on stop. And then again, restart the service. Make a right click, then click on start. Again, make a right click, click on start. So make sure gaming services are running over here. And find Microsoft Store install service. Make a double click, set it to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. Now open Xbox app and then try to install the game. Now the next step is to update Windows to the latest version. So go to the start menu, click on settings. Now if you have Windows 11, click on Windows update. If you have Windows 10, then click on update and security and then click on check for update. And once the update is installed, restart your computer and then open Xbox app and install the game. Now the next step is to uninstall and reinstall Xbox app. So for this type in Xbox app in Windows search box. Make a right click on Xbox app, then click on uninstall, then again click on uninstall. Now after the uninstall, open X, uh, Microsoft Store in your computer and type in Xbox app in Windows search, in the search box and then click on Xbox app. And then you will see the install option, install it, then open Xbox app and then try to install the game. Now the, last, uh, the next step is to rename WP system and Windows apps folder. Now to rename WP system folder, open file explorer on your computer, go to this PC, open D drive. Now over here you can see WP system. When you try to rename it, you won't be able to rename it because you will receive some kind of error message that you are not allowed. Now, so make a right click on WP system folder and then select properties, go to the security tab. We will go ahead and take the ownership of this folder. So go to security tab and then click on advanced. Now click on change over here and then type in everyone over here everyone and then click on check names then click on ok now put a check on the box which says replace owner on sub containers and objects and then click on apply ok 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 and then again make a right click on wp system folder select properties once again go to the security tab once again click on advanced once again now this time click on add over here and then click on select a principal. Now type in everyone once again and then check names. OK. Now put a check on the box which says full control and then click on OK. Apply. OK. 
okay so now you can rename it make a right click then click on rename rename it as wp system dot old now it's still your face problem in that case you can go ahead and restart your computer and then try to rename it once again open file explorer and then go to this pc open d drive then make a right click on windows apps and then rename it now before rename you have to take the ownership make a right click then click on properties go to security tab advanced now click on change over here type in everyone in the box now click on check names then click on ok now put a check on the box which says replace owner on sub containers and objects and then click on apply ok ok again ok again make a right click on windows apps select properties security tab advanced and this time click on add select a principal everyone check names ok put a check on the box which says full control ok apply ok ok now make a right click on windows apps and then click on rename and then rename it as windows apps dot old now while renaming it if you receive any kind of error message which says file is open in that case open task manager on your computer make a right click on the start menu click on task manager now if you find gaming services make a right click and then click on end task and also open services over here and then go to services and find gaming services make a right click on gaming services click on stop so in my case it's not running so let me go ahead and yeah so make a right click then click on stop again make a right click and then click on stop make sure gaming services is not running and then you can go ahead and try to rename is at as windows apps dot old once the rename is done make a right click and then start the service and the last step is to update windows to the latest version using media creation tools so if you have windows 10 copy this link if you have windows 11 copy this link now go to microsoft website it will take you to microsoft website here you can see windows this is for windows 10 users so scroll down here you can see media creation tool click on download tool now and then run this exe file then you will see the screen which says accept click on accept then by default update this pc now will be selected click on next it will start downloading windows 10 along with the latest update now this process will take some time now once the download is complete before the installation you will see the screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked now when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer click on install after the installation login to your computer open xbox app and install the game if you have windows 11 go to this website and then here also you will find media creation tool click on download now and then run this exe file now again click on accept and by default windows 11 will be selected click on next now select iso file and then click on next now set the location as desktop and then click on save over here now once the download is complete click on finish and then go to desktop find windows iso file make a double click on windows iso file then here you can see setup file make a double click on setup file click on yes to allow now this will load windows 11 on your computer and here you can see install windows 11 so click on next and it will go ahead and check for update and then click on accept again it will check for update once the process is complete now before the installation again you will see the screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked now when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer click on install after the installation login to your computer open xbox app and then install just cause 4 reloaded and you should not face any problem so that will be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel